Hey YouTube, Shugun Shinobi here with a review of the Samurai Sentai Shinkenter Deluxe Mogyu Dio. Who is so big, his name doesn't even fit in my camera frame. So, um, anyway, Samurai got Dai DX. DX. Mogyu Dio is here. Um, Ushu Origami. Mogyu Dio ni Henke. Um, fun stuff here. So, 460 miru millimeters probably i don't know this guy's fucking huge basically uh ushi here mogi dayo right here uh comes with discs 20 and 21 um the 46 460 miru thing on this side we've got discs and shinken marus and ushis and shinkenos and Mogi Dios, and here's the more Ushi focused box, I guess. Uh, up here, showing the combination Samurai How, uh, Samurai Clusterfuck. What do we got over here? I don't know, we did this already. I don't know where we're at even. We're everywhere. So, anyway, enough of this box. That was the box hitting the ground. He doesn't fit in my camera frame whatsoever. Um, I'll push him back about as far as he can go, but uh, we're going to have to get creative with this. So anyway, uh, Inuramaru. We'll do this one first. Uh, where's this thing? Is. So this is a Zen Samurai Gatai disc. Thank you for that. Yeah, I'm not listening to that again. So anyway, that goes back over here on his wheel. The other one is this one. Riveting. So, anyway, enough of that. Uh, let's snap this back on and uh, continue. So, here he is in Ushi Origami mode. Uh, actually, my camera frame isn't as bad as it could be. Um, he's basically got giant missile racks up here, uh, those become the arms. Uh, Ushi's head is right here. He's very angry. His mouth does open up. As fun as that is. Uh, his big, whatever, ox cart thing. It's back here. The uh, discs go on the wheels. Like so. And then he's got a gun back here. So that's really all he does detail-wise. He, he does roll nice. Um, there's a lock right here. Push it in and it will stop. Uh, the rolling. So if he's on a flat, slightly slanted surface, make sure he's locked. Uh, otherwise, you can let him go and he's free to roll around as he wishes. Um, the switch to turn him on and off is right here. Uh, this way is forward and that way is backwards. So let's just go ahead and take a uh, quick look. Uh, the lock is off so he won't move. Put it in. He's very slow. Backwards. Okay, so I'm going to keep the rollers on for now, just because it's easier to maneuver around this uh, small reviewing space. Um, really, I, I like this mode. It's it's alright, um, but the, the real gem actually comes in the combined mode. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, transform him, so Samurai Henke. Um, just basically plop him like this, and I'm surprised heat metal didn't fall over again. Uh, roll him around. So he's like this. Uh, nothing happens down here except popping this off. Set that aside for now. Uh, everything happens 
up up there just like so so I move the camera oh god sorry about that over a tiny smidge all right so uh pop this entire section off and separate them uh fold the fold racks down this will be this arm and this will be this arm then open up his face and there you have Mogu Dio, ready to kick some ass. So uh, there's his face, pretty neat, detailed, he kind of looks like a gump, but um, details are really nice overall. Um, I'm really glad I didn't pay full price for this, but uh, anyway, his little gun just plops right in there. And uh, that is really about it. Uh, the only really other cool thing that he can do without the aid of everyone else is um, take the this one, the uh, origami disc, um, fold up his head, open that, plop the head down, and then put this back here, plop the head back up, reopen the head, and then he's got his little Gatling gun thing right here. And if I can find the switch, it's right here. Uh, go ahead and turn that on. And then I'll spin up there. And he can walk in this mode too. That's backwards. There we go. Stop. Stop. Go backwards. Okay, I was really bored with that. Uh, so anyway, I'm just going to kind of handhold the camera as we pan across. Um, that's really about it for Mogu Dio. Uh, there's one last thing that he can do. I keep saying that's about it, and then I remember that he does other things. Um, basically reconvert him back Uh, the only other thing that can happen is if we take a Shinken over here, he can plop right here if I can get him to go in there. I guess that is in there. Uh, he can sit on top of Ushi and uh, roll around like the mighty prince that he is, or emperor, or whatever, or knight, or I don't know. But uh, anyway, it's definitely worth the purchase if you got it for a price like I did, uh, about $50. Um, that's about how much it would be if uh, America decides to import this guy. So um, he's worth it in that aspect, but um, I would never pay the 120 or whatever that they wanted when he was first released. Um, he's just not really worth it in that aspect. Um, but for about 50 bucks and free shipping, hell yeah, he's definitely worth it. He's cool. Um, but there's no way in hell I would ever pay that much for, for this guy. Um, if he was as cool as, I can't even say, these big mech are just kind of disappointing overall. Um, they're not as cool as, like, the little ones, but, uh, they're necessary for the big guns. So, um, you get what you have to get. So, um, yeah, that's my thoughts. Uh, expect Samurai Hao tomorrow. Um... And we'll go ahead and start from Daikai Shinkano, Ika Tenku Buster, and Mogu Dayo. And uh, we'll go ahead and make the Samurai Hao himself. So uh, so check out a photo gallery for Mogu here at uh, Flickr.com slash photo slash Shukin Shinobi. And of course, check out the blog at shukinshinobi.wordpress.com for all the latest news, updates, and release dates. Um... And check out our Tokusatsu podcast, Riders, Rangers, and Rambles, at shukunshomi.podbean.com, soon to be Riders, Rangers, and Rambles.com. So, uh, take care, and have a great one.